Farmers scrape the seeds off breadsticks in the hope to grow more. The soil is too rocky to encourage growth. Efforts for cultivation are futile. They are a stupid people. Each year, the tribal farmers bring their seeds and bars of rancid butter to a far-off market. But there is no market, and they die of exhaustion before returning home. But there is no home, only a land without breadsticks. The Bunuels are a miserable, dirty, stupid tribe. Sometimes they smear their breadsticks with rancid butter. Often do they get malaria and die miserable, slow, and painful deaths. Domesticated pigs are kept in the Bunuel village for pets. These pigs climb high mountaintops to eat the wild breadsticks. The lofty altitudes, however, give them nosebleeds. The pigs get dizzy and they fall. There is a high infant mortality rate because of pigs with nosebleeds who fall on scavenging children. The village fathers bring the dead child to a sacred burial spot 45 miles out of town. The casket is heavy, filled with breadsticks. Over deserts, through mountain passes, past lumber yards, and across frozen tundra, the fathers walk barefoot, carrying the weighted coffin on their shoulders. On reaching the sacred land, they too die of exhaustion. It is winter here. The tribe lives in huts made of chocolate donuts contributed by the Red Cross. The summer heat causes the homes to melt, however, turn black, and run down the mountainside causing yet more pigs to slip and fall on scavenging children. When the moon is full, a young girl soon becomes a woman during an ancient ritual. The youth raises her dress to accept the breadstick. Like all other rituals attempting to create more breadsticks, this mating ceremony proves futile. The breadstick is broken, and the girl dies of a yeast infection. The Bunuels are a dying tribe. Little more is known about this land. A document made in 1910 by anthropologist Stella Doro seems rather dated and silly by today's standards. So now we leave the land without breadsticks. Our grant from Nabisco has run out, our cameraman dead from a falling pig, and the Bunuels still dying.